What up, y'all? Check it out. Recently, I listened to this little Uzi verse song where he dropped a bar and said he made a city girl believe in Satan. He said he made a city girl believe in Satan. Did you hear that? If you heard it, how did it make you feel? Leave me a comment. But yo, the bar made me think. Is there a satanic message being spread in rap music today? I mean, some people going to say it's no different. The message is no different from rappers talking about killing, dealing drugs. And there's a conversation to be had about that, too. But right now, I'm talking about folks who are skipping over straight out of Compton and coming straight out of hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> straight out of hell with it, like Lil Nas X twerking on the devil's lap and all that, you know? Oh, yeah, y'all didn't tell me that Lil Uzi verse name is really Lucifer slowed down. That's some crazy shit, too, huh? <laughs> but his bar, his bar got me thinking about the overall bigger picture in our culture. This is our culture. This is your culture. This is my culture. This is our culture. We need to talk like this sometimes. And it made me think about the messaging and what's going on. And it took me back. Now, in the 80s, they had something called the Satanic Panic. This is where people became super pissed off at the rise of satanic materials in books, music, film, etc., etc., etc. So these pissed off people said, yo, no more. We got to get rid of all these evil, this wicked material that's being used to program the minds of our children. So they waged war against it. You know what I'm saying? I think they say a crazy book called Michelle remembers it was a crazy book y'all that kind of sparked the outrage and then it went to heavy metal and so on and so on and so on so when i was a kid i remember the grown-ups saying yo if you play certain rock records backwards you could hear demonic messages so when everybody left we went and grabbed those records and spun them backwards. And we heard some crazy shit too. Not gonna lie. But that was then. And this is now. So the question I ask you. Do you believe that there is a hidden. Or not so hidden. Agenda. To use rap music as a vehicle. To deliver wicked energy. To the young generation. If you believe that, who are the people in control of this? Is it like a cabal of mass motherfuckers who stay in the shadows? Or is it somebody like hiding in plain sight, getting interviewed on a major hip hop platform, just chilling like they don't even know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the Birdman handrail. I, I ain't putting that on you, Birdman, at all. Or is it just entertainment and people are too sensitive which is it we live in an era where people troll for attention and once they got everybody eyeballs on them they sell us whatever they selling and afterwards if they did some damage they say oh I was just trolling and everything's supposed to be cool after that now I come from an era where if you say if somebody walk up to you and say, fuck your mama, they have to be held accountable for saying, fuck your mama. They can't just say, oh, I was trolling. Hell no. Nah. Ain't no trolling. You know what I mean? That era is still alive, by the way. I'm just saying. But anyway, whether you believe the devil is real or a fictional character, I think we can all agree that evil exists, right? So when you open the door to evil, some bad things can happen. And to you. You know what I'm saying? Because evil eventually devours its host. You ever seen one of them movies where some wicked character summons a powerful entity that was trapped for hundreds and hundreds of years? And when they're finally free... They expect to rule by this evil entity side. 
But the entity immediately cut the stupid bastard head off. Like, thanks for waking me up, Slice. That's how it happens. Evil devours his host. Now me, my whole life, I've attempted to take the righteous path whenever I was at the crossroads of good and evil. That's just me. It ain't always work, but I try. You know what I mean? When I was at the crossroads of good and evil, I usually tried to take the righteous, the righteous path. Now, speaking of crossroads, though, I just thought about something. Back when I was young, they used to say that Bone Thugs and Harmony were devil worshippers. But let me tell you something. I know Lazy Bone very, very well. And he's one of the most solid, genuine, respectable, and positive people I ever met in this entire business. I couldn't imagine that being true about the homie. That being said, I really don't know these cats that are out here waving the satanic flag. I don't know them. Who knows what they're like in real life? The line between entertainment and reality is very thin sometimes. You know what I mean? But I'm interested in whatever goes on in hip-hop. And I've been that way since forever. So I'm planning this long-form discussion with some industry people about this topic and see where it takes us because this is our culture. We need to have these conversations. And somebody need to bring balance. You feel me? So until then, let me know your thoughts on this topic. Drop a comment. And I'm going to see y'all at the long form. All right? Peace.